Hello, what is up everybody? My name is Mario Picciardo. This uh, story is also out of the Daily Wire. Um, it says the NSA lost control of a cyber weapon. Now it's being used against American cities. So this is actually pretty wild. Um, I'm just going to cover this here. It says in 2017, the National Security Agency, the NSA, lost control of some of the hacking tools it used to spy on other countries, the New York Times reported. The NSA, it appeared, had, had itself been hacked or infiltrated. Now, I want to point out that this is, this is mentioning 2017. Um, and so it kind of goes into more detail about it. Um, I don't know why this story doesn't, hasn't picked up more traction. Um, because so essentially what happens is that the NSA is, is apparently hacked in 2017. Well, it happens again. Um, and these, uh, a lot of, you know, state, um, programs, computers start shutting down, some from private uh, institutions, uh, like real estate developers trying to close deals and things like that. Um, and it's kind of this, probably the scariest part of it is, is that people don't know who stole it or who has the technology, who took it. But someone decided to, um, two people, there were, there were two or three people who were arrested for this. Um, but they were arrested in connection because they had co con had taken out confidential files, much like how Edward Edward Snowden had done. And people were really saying, "Okay, well, you know, what's the extent of this damage, or what's the extent of uh, what we can do about this?" Well, why I think the first thing we probably should do is let the people know that um, this uh, harmful, these weaponized cyber. Uh, tools that the NSA had are now in control of some kind of rogue agency that's actually started, not only have they taken that software and used it, but they've used it to ransom as ransomware for government systems, uh, some private uh, company systems. And so we're starting to really see the kind of backlash of this kind of technology. And I wonder if it's not being more widely discussed because it's not a political um it, it is it doesn't really favor a political side or maybe it has more to do with the fact that um the that you know that the it's not in these companies best interest to share uh potentially damaging information about uh government surveillance but for the nsa to have its own tools taken out of the system is i think very, very alarming. Again, we're talking about um, tools that can be used to spy on people, on normal everyday people, um, is now in control of some of rogue, uh, of some kind of rogue organization. Um, it, it's presumed that it's, that it's a country abroad, which makes sense, partially because what one of the ransomware messages that they got when someone locked down one of these computers from a state worker was saying that uh it was it was it was written in kind of broken english um uh, saying that hey you know all we care about is money now give us the money um and we'll unlock the system uh and so here it is he says we won't talk more all we know is money hurry up we're we we've watched we've watching you guys We've we've watching you for days, uh, and so this kind of thing is. It it really brings to question the idea of should we have should we be be allowing organizations like the NSA to go un unsupervised with this kind of technology? I mean, what who's to stop? I mean, what what really are the safeguards in place to make sure that government tools aren't being utilized like with what Trump is talking about where he's investigating um what what created the whole 2016 investigation against uh against him for obstru for uh collusion with Russia um who who really has where where William Barr had also said uh, that he did think spying occurred under the Obama administration uh towards president Trump i mean what is 
who's who's supervising these agencies and if if a tool like this can can just kind of go out into the open well why don't we have more restrictive safeguards or measures um are these tools even effective i mean i have so many questions about it this is a really harmful thing this is this is negating the privacy of american citizens that it, a tool that is no longer under um government control so any government safeguards that would be there are clearly broken and the average everyday criminal doesn't care about the laws by definition and so you know this is i uh, this is so reckless i mean to even have a situation where someone could just walk out of the agency with these files um so irregardless the nsa is looking into who was involved with the case um uh identifying who who may have stolen the documents they've already arrested three i believe they think that there's possibly one more so i mean we'll get to the bottom of this soon but uh this is something that the writer mentions ashley shaw um or ash shaw um and that's that well why don't you see more stories about this specific um report here and to be honest i don't know um, it could be that it doesn't necessarily serve a political agenda. Um, I guess you could say that, you know, some people glossed over it, but this really is a big story. Um, and so I hope that it gets more circulation. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this isn't good for, for anybody involved. Um, if you guys like the video, uh, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you're notified the next time we post a video that goes live uh and you know let me know what you guys think about this video any any or in, about this story any kind of engagement that we have tells youtube hey this is a good video we should uh share this with more people um and yeah so that's all i got for you guys today uh, i'll see you in the next one take it easy peace